Hey guys, this is Iowa Interstate 96 here. I uh, got a little package for you guys today. I bought this on my own, uh, off the eBay. Uh, really nice unit. Uh, this is the uh, packaging. Um, we're going to unbox it. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing video in front of you. So most of the time I don't usually do an unboxing video. Because usually I show you the engine. Um, it is an engine, I just exported it. But I got another unit. Uh, I'm not going to show you it. I'm not going to tell you it until I get it open. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, excuse me about it. I'm trying to get the camera. Actually, you know what? <laughs> There's too much stuff on here. So I'm just sitting on here and get this unboxing. Trying to get the... Sorry, this is an iPod I'm using. So uh, definitely I have to use my handy car keys to get it on open. Well, it's going to have to be that way. You have to look at my layout because there's not enough room to carry my camera. I'm just um, breaking the uh, tape to open up the packaging. All right. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Got this open a little bit. Uh, got some my other engines, but I'll show you some of these. Yeah, I'll just see. Okay. All right. There we are. What did I got today? Let's just find out what I got today, tonight. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to set this camera down again. Because I can't do two hands at once. An unboxing video of a locomotive. <sighs> okay, that's enough. Get this pulled out. Sorry about not showing it, guys. I'm just not working. I can't, I don't have four hands. Okay. Foam everywhere. Okay. We have something here. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's just get it unboxed. All right, what do we have here? Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Hmm. It says it's a Bachman locomotive. Hmm. I know it's Bachman. Hmm. Let's see what it is. Item number. Oop. What do we have here? A G E E S forty four A C with ditch lights, Norfolk Western Southern sorry, Norfolk Western. Norfolk Southern Railway eighty one fourteen. That is right. I got my hands on a, another Norfolk Southern heritage unit. Uh this is oh you can see my nickel plate road here. Uh this is in a mountain. I know some of you guys it's. I know it's a Bachman. Um, there's going to be things I like about this engine, and there's going to be things I do not like about this engine. Well, let's get into the view. This is the NS8114. This is the engine I always wanted. Uh, this is actually my first NS Heritage unit I got to see in person. Uh, I got it on. Uh, I came to my town. Oh, I, I can. You know what? I'm going to show you the picture of my engines. Sorry about the mess in my room. Uh, there is Norfolk Southern E114, that is my photo, it is in Des Moines, and there's my photo of Norn S8105, those are the only two NS locomotives I've seen. Uh, Chicago Northwestern, actually by surprise, I got it on April 7th of 20, this year, April, April 7th of this year, sorry. That was September 23rd, 2014, uh, October 11th, 2015, last year. April 12th of this year, and then August, uh, June 8th of 2013. Uh, 513 Rock Island Heritage Unit, Iowa Interstate 516. I more live by the Iowa Interstate. This is on the Iowa Interstate Railroad as well. That's the uh, NS Peoria to Des Moines um, grain train that usually come here, and they have been having NS. This was on the UP. You can see it's between the UP locomotives. So, yeah, that's 81 of 14 of my shot. And now I have the actual HO scale one. Uh, I was going to get it in the mountain version, but um, the uh, 
Uh, it, this was cheaper. There was one for 134. I got this for a hundred, just over a hundred bucks, for DC scene sound that is really good. So let's get this unboxed and get this engine unboxed. Uh, it's gonna be on the floor for a second uh, before we get into the uh, locomotive. Uh, we got the uh, guides, like what you do when you take apart your locomotive. Uh, there's a cab and stuff like that. This is an ES44 AC. And then your warranty, your Bachman warranty, your sign-up guide, and then your quick start guide for your uh, DCC sound uh, function. This is like all the functions and stuff like that. So, really nice locomotive. Uh, let's get this unboxed. This is an awesome locomotive. I really, really like it. Um, this is an Intermountain ES44 AC Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit. Let's get this out of the box. All right, there she is. It's on an Intermountain box. I'll put her on the layout real quick. And set her on the layout. Oh, shut off my DCC because I want it off because I don't want track power on. So, there we are, guys. There is the Norfolk Southern 8114, the original Heritage Scheme locomotive. Uh, this is the uh, Bachman version of the ES44 AC. Um, I have an Intermountain ES44 AC since I've seen these both in person. I got the Interstate out. I have this on my channel. We're going to do a review of comparements with the Bachman and the Intermountain. Obviously you're going to say Intermountain is much better. Yes, I agree with you guys. But Bachman, for Bachman, I got to say for Bachman, they do have the details there. The details all there. But we can, can tell the windshield wipers, I think the windshield wipers are better looking than the Intermountain version. So if you look right here, once my camera focus, you can see the windshield wiper. And this does have interior, cab, uh, cab interior, NS, Norfolk West, Norfolk Southern, sorry. I do have the Norfolk and Western Heritage Unit as well. Uh, this is 8114, original scheme, uh, NS scheme. Uh, it does not come with KD couplers, the Intermountain does which is over there. Snow plows are there. Uh, the MU hoses and cables are there. And simple applied hand um, stuff like that. Handrails are good. The handrails are pretty um, sturdy compared to the Intermountain. So if I touch the handrails, they're pretty sturdy. Um, so that's the handrails of the Bachman Jibo. And the Bachman ES44 AC only comes with the NS Heritage Scheme. Uh, you can see that it's got the side mounted things right here. It does have the mirrors right there too, like your inner mountain. Now let's compare to the inner mountain version. You can tell the um, handrails are pretty thin, but these are like more playful. But these are more breakable. So let's go on to the top of the locomotive. You can tell there's no warning labels on the top of the locomotive compared to the inner mountain. You can tell the inner mountain version has the warning labels and stuff, and it's got much more detailed. Uh, you can tell the horn isn't as crisp, I, I guess you could say the corn. The horn isn't as good looking as the uh, Inner Mountain. If you can tell, the Inner Mountain has the actual correct K5HL horn. Compared to the Bachman, not so good. Um, so yeah, this is the Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit. Uh, this engine is not lock sound. Uh, you can see the back of it is really nice. Um, it says it has ditch lights, but the unfortunate thing, I'm, at least it says it says it's with ditch lights, so I don't know if, this is a new run of the Bachman, this is actually a brand new run of the Bachman, they just came out with the other, other half of the NS Heritage units. The first runs had no ditch lights, fast flashing ditch lights, function or anything. I'm assuming this doesn't do it, that's the bad thing I hate about the Bachman, no function ditch lights. The inner mountain does. I do not know. It actually looks like there could be ditch lights in there, but um, the top of it, the radiator section. I forgot to do the radiator section. Uh, the radiator section's good. It's it, the details are all there. Real quick, but you can tell the top of the. This is a little bit too wide, but it it, it is over and up and over and stuff like that. And the details on the side are pretty good as well. But if you can tell by the inner mountain version, 
you can tell this is way more detailed. This is actually the correct white of length. This line right here, you can tell the Bachman's just like a cheesy whiter line. So this one isn't as good as compared to the uh, Inner Mountain version. And I just moved them, so they kind of like to play a lot. So this one plays a lot, and then this one plays a lot a little bit too. So this engine rolls a little bit as well. Uh, let's flip the locomotives. Uh, well, I'll have to take my camera down because I, I, I don't want to... I don't, I don't like holding my engine. Okay, I'm going to set my camera down real quick. I'm going to flip the engines. Um, so, on the other side of the uh, Bachman Jeevo, uh, here's the other side of the Bachman Jeevo. Uh, pretty much the same thing as the other side. Uh, the handrails are really good. They're there. Details are good, too. The hand, These are pretty good as well, right here, the Bachman Jeevo. So, it's pretty nice. So, the hand, the, uh, it's the um, the um, what are these called? For the brakes, I think the tanks, the air tanks. Uh, the details there as well. That that's prototypical as well, right there. That's pretty topo prototypical. Uh, the back of the locomotive, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty nice looking locomotive. Uh, Eighty-one fourteen again. There's the back of the locomotive. Really nice. It's really sturdy and runs. Uh, like I said, it rolls a little bit, so it plays quite a bit before I notice that engine. So the gears are probably okay in here. Let's get underneath the locomotive. And also the speaker is actually right down here. So it says DCC sound value. Uh, underneath the locomotive, it looks pretty much similar like an Intermountain, except the speaker's right here below the spill tank. The Intermountain version, I'll show you the Intermountain version. The speaker isn't really that bad. Broadway Limited has those locomotives underneath the speaker, so like, I think the new Walther's uh, Jeevos are coming out have the same thing. Also, this has the same decoder as the Walther Jeevos that are coming out soon. Same with the SC70. Basically, what is this is is a Walther's Bachman Shell Company Jeevo in an NS Heritage. Okay, well the speakers in here on the Intermountain version. So this is the speaker on the Intermountain version. So this is the fuel tank and stuff like that. I probably sh shit. Oh, whoops. I think I broke the handrail. Like I said, actually this has been broken for a long time. I didn't break the handrail. The inner mountain handrails are kind of a very fragile. So I forgot to flip the engine around. Uh, this is the 8105. I had this engine a while. I have the review on this engine, but I guess I review it a little bit. The Tanks, fuel tanks are pretty good, but you can tell the Inner Mountain has more of a detail. <laughs> Inner Mountain has a detail. Uh, the locomotive is really nice. There's the uh, trucks right there. The trucks are really detailed as well. Compared to these, these are okay, but you can tell the trucks on the Inner Mountain are really better. Uh, the locomotive on the back of it is really nice. There's the, uh, the rail, the uh, back rails things. The MU hoses on the back of the locomotive are better, I think. Honestly, if you guys, if you guys really want it in a mountain, Jeevo, NS Heritage, or something, I would go with a in you know, a mountain. But Bachman does have their details. Bachman does have their details. But I'm just saying, this locomotive does not come with lock sound equipped. This one does. This is ESU lock sound. This is Soundtrack Tsunami. So honestly, I think the Soundtrack Tsunami in this locomotive is actually better than the Inner Mountain versions. The Inner Mountains are just up there. They sound as good as the Atherin Genesis uh, Jeevos. So very nice right there. Uh, the detail on the cab real quick. Uh, this You can tell this is all molded in. Handrail, the step ladders are in there. You can tell these are separately applied. The uh, front of the locomotive right here. But honestly, you know, the inner mountain details are good, but also the antenna detail is pretty nice right there. Top of the locomotive, like the horn, the horn is better on the inner mountain. But the details on the Bachman are there too as well, so they're really nice too. They just don't have the warning labels. Except they do have a few warning labels here. So they do have a few warning labels here. And the inner mountain does have a few warning labels too. They just don't have as much fuel warning there. But they do have the uh the uh whatever this is signal for the locomotive. They have it on the Inner Mountain, but you can tell the Inner Mountain version is smaller than the Bachman. The Bachman's bigger. So this is NS8114. 
locomotive and stuff like that. The cab interior. Cab interior is pretty. I get get it focused. Cab interior is in there. Uh, you can see the engineer seat and stuff like that. So it's really nice. And I notice these are actually prototypical painted right here. So this is actually really, really, really good right here. The paint's actually right. Okay, hold on. Stupid iPod. Okay, see the paint on the gray? There it goes. See the paint on the gray? That's actually prototypical to the real pro, real, real unit. If you can tell on the Inner Mountain, the Inner Mountain didn't do that. So I just actually realized this is actually not prototypical on the Inner Mountain. So Bach, good job on Bachman. They actually did their detail around the cab. So that's really nice with the Bachman. I think the windshield wipers look much better on the Bachman than the uh, Inner Mountain. Because you can tell the Inner Mountain ones are just flimsy. They're just these little metal ones. But if you can tell by the Bachman. And also, this is prototypical. They are actually backwards. If you can tell right here, these are backwards and stuff like that. These are actually prototypical. So good job on Bachman from that with the uh, the chrome around the, the silver around the windows on the cab. So that was really nice from you know, Bachman. Um, the top of the locomotive, I showed you a little bit. That's prototypical. That's pretty good too right there as well. So I got low battery, so I'm going to plug her in because this goes low. So I got the battery plugged in now. That is really good with Bachman right there. So really good with good job with Bachman. Um, there's the the uh, prototypical right there. I am not going to die now because I got plugged in. Uh, the other side of locomotive really nice and stuff like that uh, and stuff like that. Really really nice. So you guys are probably waiting for me to run this engine. So let's go ahead and run this engine. Um, I'm going to take the uh, Inner Mountain Jivo off because um, this locomotive. Uh, it's going to start up, so I'm going to set this locomotive on the side. So this is an ES44, and then this is the Bachman, so local address 3. So we're going to start it up by putting track power. I am using a DCC Zephyr. Uh, like I said, it's a brand new locomotive. Also, I forgot to tell you this. Uh, Bachman does come with a red, uh, this, on DCC sound locomotives on Bachman, they're always red. If this was a DCC engine, it would be a blue box. And if it was a straight DC engine, which uh, it would look like uh, what this this Bachman box right here, so pretty much uh, that's a Bachman. I do have a Bachman SD40-2 over there. It's on the other side of the layout, but we're not focusing on that locomotive. Uh, and also, this locomotive is not available with DCC only. This is only with DCC and sound. So uh, you guys are waiting for me, including me as well. So let's get this engine fired up by pushing crack power. Here we go. All right, the uh, you can hear the uh, engine. This is the DCC lo uh, DCC not lock sound. This is the tsunami soundtrack decoder. So basically, the headlight right here works, but it doesn't look like the ditch lights work. So this has non-flashing ditch lights. So there's the horn for you guys there, right there. So let's just go over the features. Uh, the features are. Uh, um, this is going to be a long view, guys. Um, so the features are like F1, F0 is headlight dims, reverse headlight, bell reverse smoke. Oh, wow. It says smoke equipped. If the local was smoke equipped, I don't think it is. Light flashing lights, F5. Oh my goodness, this does have ditch lights. Oh yes. Good job on bot. Okay. Okay, now this is a new one. Yes. This Okay, if you have the older model of the Bachman, this does have flashing ditch lights. Yes. Us, good job on Bachman. This this is a newer version of the Bachman. If you gotten the Pennsylvania unit, the older ones, this is a brand new locomotive. This does have ditch lights. Very good. They look like they were functional. So, the dynamic brake, short horn, air bell, flashing light, lumber boards, or F6. I don't know if that works. I can't really see it. Uh, let me see here. Well, this has ditch lights, guys. So, I uh, did not know that. 
the earlier Bachman Jeevos did not have ditch lights. So that's a great job on Bachman right there. Now let's reverse it. And this is the Bachman Jeevo. Very good job on Bachman Jeevo. Those lights are really bright if you ask me. So this is the NS8114. Very, very, very nice. Uh, let's get her coupled up. Actually, hold on. I got another engines on the other side, so I have to set my camera down again. Don't worry, guys. This is a very long... This is actually one of the longest reviews i ever done on a model railway on my layout. Um, layout really hasn't come a lot, guys, so this is really nice. So, very good job on Bachman. They do have ditch lights. This is the newer run, guys. If you got in the Pennsylvania, the earlier NS Heritage Bachmans, they would not have non-function ditch lights. So, good job on Bachman right there. So, very nice. So, I'm glad I got this locomotive now. So, this does have flat, this does have ditch lights. So, got it coupled up uh, to the train. Uh, we're going to run it. So, this is the Bachman. Yes, oh, here's the bell. Short horn. Flashing ditch lights are... Flashing ditch lights are not too fast, so that's really nice. And the ditch lights do flash, so that's prototypical with the Bachman Jeevo. Um, Tsunami is pretty good, I have to say. It does still have the Jeevo 12 sound on it, so really nice. Really good job on Bachman with the new ditch lights. This is a brand new Jeevo, so very nice on Bachman. There it goes. So this is NS8114. Oops. Evidently doesn't like that car. All right, let's try that again. Some of my cars don't like the radius on the layout with the new engine. All right, NS8114. Pulling a train, so let's just get her running up. And then uh, I think um, air horn dynamic brake is F4, so that's dynamic brake. And this is the tsunami version, though. This is not the lock sound. So there you go guys, there's my Bachman ES44AC Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit uh, 8114 Original Heritage Scheme. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of the NS8114. Uh, my thoughts about this engine, um, really I am very very glad that Bachman put the ditch lights in the second run of the Jeevos as well as the back, I do not know. The back does not flash, I forgot. So this is like an inner mountain lock sound. The back lights do actually flash on the real light. On the real light. And uh, F8 is actually mute, the locomotive, so I'll just shut it off. So the lights do not flash with the Bachman as well with the Tsunami. So it's like a decoded limiter. So really nice on Bachman. Uh, my thoughts about the Bachman ES44 AC. Uh, for the new ones... I would highly recommend to get the new ones of the Bachman ES44 AC. Do not get, and excluding the new SC70 ACEs. Uh, really nice with the Bachman. This does have flashing ditch lights. This does have ditch lights that work. Great job on Bachman. I'm very glad that Bachman did that on the new Jeevos. But like if they did the previous generation, they did NS Heritage as well. They did the Southern, the Penzi, the the Central Georgia Heritage Unit, and then they did the Nickel Plate Road. If you've gotten one of those, those do not have functioning ditch lights. So that is a great, good job on Bachman with the new ditch lights. So they, the previous generation of the Bachman NS Heritage Devos, including the SC70 ACEs, so the new SC70 ACEs, are, they're all came making the new SC70 ACEs, like the Conrail one is out, the Norfolk and Western's out, the Interstate's out by Bachman. So if you do, cannot afford the uh, Inner Mountain right now, I would go with Bachman. So Bachman is really nice with the ditch lights and stuff like that. So I'm very happy with the ditch lights. Good job on Bachman. Um, engine, my thoughts about this engine, really good. It pulls really good. It doesn't have any hesitation and stuff like that. So really nice. Uh, let's test her without the sound. Let's 
very quiet. So it's very, very quiet. Uh, very quiet indeed. But the ditch lights do not flash. So, and also they do not, with the lock sound, if the sound is muted with the lock sound, it would blow the horn. This one does not. So that's the Tsunami decoder. Like this said, this is not lock sound. That's the Tsunami decoder. So, yeah. Uh, so, guys, hope you enjoyed my view of my new in, uh, Bachman ES44EC Norfolk Southern uh, original heritage scheme, uh, 8114. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much.